Some major developments in the works for rapid COVID testing. What experts say is crucial to reopening the economy safely. New tests promise to get results back within hours or even seconds. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has more in tonight's Max Minute. We've said it before, tests that take days or weeks to give a result are useless. Too much spread or infection can happen in the interim. But companies ranging from big pharma to foreign startups have made tremendous strides in developing new tests that are simple and fast enough to possibly be used at restaurants, concerts, sporting events, even airports. United Airlines is the first airline to roll out a COVID-19 testing program for passengers. Starting October 15th, flyers from San Francisco to Hawaii can order an at-home testing kit or reserve a time for a rapid test at the airport. Both require a nasal swab, though not as deep as other tests. The airport test is $250, takes 20 minutes. The home version is $80 and returns results within 48 hours. Quadrant Biosciences and SUNY Upstate Medical School in Syracuse have received FDA emergency use authorization for a less invasive oral saliva swab test. Labs are expected to turn results in six hours. An Israeli biotech also uses saliva. The person gargles a solution, spits into a cup that an artificial intelligence chip analyzes for the light spectrum signature of the coronavirus within seconds. News site has partnered with a major supplier of airport security to pilot self-service kiosks at two European airports. Other airlines, airports, and public venues are closely watching the rollout of these pilot programs, hanging their hopes for a return to some version of normal on fast, accurate, and not too costly testing. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.